How many times have we seen free agents come over here and use the New York Jets as a bargaining tool to go someplace else to get a better contract? All right, I'll give you an answer. A lot, a lot. Why? Because the New York Jets are a desperate football team. And when you are a desperate football team, when you are a desperate football team, you are going to throw money when a superstar looks your way or someone that you consider a superstar or a household name or a, a big name. Anthony Barr, for instance, okay? Hated amongst most Jet fans, probably all. Agrees in principle to a deal with the New York Jets. Then goes back to the Minnesota Vikings. Tells the Minnesota Vikings what they're going to, what the New York Jets were going to pay him. And Anthony Barr subsequently getting an even bigger contract from Minnesota. Essentially reneging and saying he didn't want to sign with the New York Jets. So what was my response to that? My response is, you don't have the guts to play in New York. You don't have the guts to play in New York. Joe Douglas wants guys that have the guts, that have the chutzpah to play in New York. Joe Douglas wants guys that are going to be a part of the process to turn this team from a garbage institution into a NFL prominent, respectable, competitive, professional football organization. Line up whatever adjective you want to use. All right? Joe Douglas is not going to be like Mike McCagnan, like John Itzik, like Mike Tannenbaum. Tannenbaum, now when he goes on the radio, he's got all the balls in the world. You know why? Because he's got nobody's pocketbook to play with. Here's the thing. The Jets are not going to allow themselves to be leveraged. A player knows that the New York Jets are a desperate football team and they're going to throw the bag, so they're going to go to somebody else or go back to their former team and say, well, the Jets are willing to pay me $10 million a year or $15 million a year. What can you guys do? And then John Jett. Just tuned in. It's called the Jets tax, right? Every player that got to come in here, we got to overpay. Why? Because the Jets are a desperate football team. And when you are a desperate football team, player agents know, players know, because players talk, agents talk, and they know exactly how to bend you over and get the most out of you. Not Joe Douglas. Joe Douglas has a system. He wants high character, high football IQ guys that are going to come in here and are going to work hard. And it doesn't matter what your name is. It doesn't matter where you play. It doesn't matter where you come from. If you're willing to come here and to put the work in and to play your ass off, then he will extend to you a contract. And if you're not, then you're going to be kicking rocks. It is what it is. You might not like it because you want Joe Douglas to go and blow up all the draft capital to go get the Amari Coopers of the world, the DK Metcalf of the world, the Mitch Morses of the world, the Jack Conklins of the world, the, the, now the Ryan Jensen's of the world, the, the Brandon Scherf's of the world, and every other friggin' sexy name that's out there. Because if it was up to you, this is what you would want Joe Douglas to do. But is that player actually going to come here and perform? Or are they just going to shut it down? Because we've seen players that we gave big money contracts to come in here and jerk off. And I pull no punches by saying that. Whether somebody gets D. Milliner's old locker by accident and catches his chronic vaginitis, whether you know somebody tubs, uh, stubs their toe on the friggin' hot tub and now they're on injured reserve for six weeks because now they need uh, they need surgery to re- repair a ligament. Who's got chronic jock itch? Who's got chronic athlete's foot? Who's got fumbleitis? Who couldn't tackle a tackling dummy? So stop. Enough. All right, Jason C. Schwartz in the chat. Thank you for joining us tonight, always. Matthias Simon, a lot. Matthias Simon again. Also, CJ, no washed up players on their last leg for, for one more contract. Thank you again, Matthias, as always. <laughs> Round of applause for you, my friend. I tell you, you are just on fire tonight. The New York Jets have been the old age home the old age retirement home of the NFL for way too friggin' long. Players who want just one more kick at the can, and they know that the Jets are that desperate enough that they will give anybody a contract. It's not what you want. 